What's up guys, Garrett here with self.dev. Today I just wanted to do a tutorial on how to download and install Atom and then a few of the packages that I like to use on it too. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you do, pull up Google Chrome, go to atom.io. It's gonna be in the description if you just wanna click on it there. And then we're gonna click on the yellow, yellow download button to get that download started. Oh uh, my gosh, this computer is so fast, I love it. All right, then we'll just click that. I know that's more of like a Wi-Fi, but whatever. Uh, yeah, when that's done downloading, just click on the button there and it'll launch for you. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Adam's a little text editor that you can use to write your HTML and CSS in. I remember one day, once upon a time, I was writing code in Notepad++. And that was an interesting, it worked pretty good, but I mean, like legit text editors like Adam or Sublime, that's one, I think. Adam's really the only one I tried, so I haven't had a reason to switch, so I've stuck with it. But yeah, once this rocket gets done loading, um, it'll basically blast off and launch on your computer. So pretty simple for the installation process, and ha, huh, that's it. Cool. All right, well, we are, we are good to go on Atom installation. That's all you have to do. You literally just click the yellow button, click download, and it takes care of everything else for you. Thought there was going to be some kind of installation wizard. Anyway, onto the packages I like to use. Um, let's see, install a package. Um, open installer, there we go. All right, what do I like to use? Um, HTML template, is that one still? Um, let's see if this is it. There's one where you can basically just type in HTML5. Yep, that's it. And then press Control, Alt, and O, and it will automatically generate the little boilerplate template you need for HTML. I'm talking about like the doc type HTML, the meta tags, the body, the HTML5 tag, or the HTML tag and everything like that. Um, and then did I close the, I want to install other stuff too. Cool, so that's good. And then we're going to use pigments. Now what this does, this highlights, like let's say you use like a hexadecimal color in your code. This will highlight it for you. Um, I think we might have to save this as CSS for it to work, but we can go ahead and do that real quick and then I can show you. Uh, we'll just go to the desktop here, test CSS, and did that finish installing? All right, we are good to go there. So let's just do like body, uh, uh, color, we'll just do like, white to see and then if we give it a sec there it should highlight in white there you go and it just makes it way easier to tell what colors you're using in your HTML especially when you're using ones that you don't know like AC5X29 or something like that uh, let's see what else do we like here um, I had some cool there are some cool new ones because I pulled this up when I was looking at Adam um, Linter looks pretty cool because it looks like it's what WordPress does, where it tells you when there's basically like an error in your code. This is a different, different language. So we're going to go ahead and get Linter as well because that looks pretty nifty. L-I-N-T-E-R. It's got to be that one. It's got 5 million views. And then where's the other one? File icons. We want that one as well. And I think what that one does, if you have a file over here that ends in like .css, it'll put a little picture of CSS next to it, which is pretty cool too. And there was one in there that was highlighting double tags, but I thought Adam did that by default. So we're about to test that out and see if that works here. Let's see, index HTML div. Okay, so we need the one that closes our tags for us. It doesn't automatically highlight duplicate tags. Ah, I'm still getting used to this new keyboard and typing on it. Yeah, it's like underlined. Or maybe it's, no, it's just underlying the closing tag. All right, we're going to go ahead and install that one too. Where's that at? Uh, let's see here. Auto close HTML. Did we get that one? No, we got templates. All right. Uh, let's see. So auto close HTML. 
So we can go ahead and get that. And then this is what the HTML template we got does. Control, Alt, and O, right? Yeah, you just press Control, Alt, and O, and it automatically generates that for you uh, just to make getting started way easier. All right, so I think that, uh, where's, yeah, auto close, close the tag for us. I think that's about it. Uh, where, we need a map as well. Uh, let's see, Atom, map, plugin, package, right? It's late. Minimap, there we go. It's just called Minimap, okay, cool. So we'll go back up here. And install that. And what this does, it makes a little mini map up here on the right. So if you have like a large block of code, let's just like copy and paste this a couple times. You can just kind of like scroll up and down. And if you have like a block of code, if, if you're working on it, you know where your code is. So you can kind of just like scroll down to it. Or you can press Control F and just go to like H1. And then, all right, apparently there's not an H1 tag in that one because we wrote that in the other one, right? Yep, that's right. Uh, but I think those are my favorite plugins. Uh, those are the only ones I can remember. So those are the only ones that were important, I think. If I think of any other ones, I will stick those in the description for you. Uh, if you need any help installing this or have any trouble, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. Uh, give us a thumbs up if it did help you out or if you like any of these packages too. And if you have a better text editor, I would love to hear about that too. Because I, especially if you like you've used Atom before and you switched. Because I, like I said, I've only used Atom. I haven't. I used Sublime once in a job interview, and that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth because I was really nervous and stuff. But it's probably pretty good too. So check out that one. Um, if a bunch of you guys recommend another one, I'll probably check it out too. But yeah, I will see you next time, and peace.